Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is piggybacking. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Guys, piggybacking method is used in two-way communication. For example, there is sender and there is receiver. In piggybacking method, not only sender will send data. But also receiver will send data. At first, whenever sender send data, receiver will send acknowledgement. Acknowledgement is nothing but reply message. Receiver will send a reply message whether data is received correctly or not. And again, after some time, receiver need to send each data. At first, sending acknowledgement, and then again after waiting some time, receiver sending each data is time taking process. So, in order to overcome this problem, in piggybacking. We will not send acknowledgement and data separately. Instead, whenever sender send data at first, receiver will not send acknowledgement immediately. Instead of sending his acknowledgement immediately, receiver will wait until his data is ready. Whenever receiver data is ready, receiver will send acknowledgement for sender data, and as well as receiver will add his message. For example, sender will send hello. Whenever sender send hello, receiver will give acknowledgement like. Message hello is received successfully. Along with acknowledgement, receiver will send his data like hello, how are you? As a receiver is sending acknowledgement and as well as receiver data, time will be saved. Instead of sending two separate messages, in piggybacking, both acknowledgement and as well as data is sent at once. As there are only few messages, communication in piggybacking is fast. Piggybacking is a method used in two-way communication to save time and improve performance. Instead of sending acknowledgement separately, receiver waits until it has data to send, and then receiver will attach acknowledgement and as well as receiver data, and then receiver will forward both to sender. As we are sending both acknowledgement and data at once, this will reduce number of messages. This makes communication process fast and more efficient. This is how piggybacking will work. Whenever sender transmits a data frame to receiver, the receiver receives the frame. And waits until it has its own data to send. When the receiver is ready to send its own data, it includes the acknowledgement for previous sender data in same message. So sender will receive both acknowledgement and as well as receiver data. The same communication process will continue. These are advantages of piggybacking. And the first one is as we are not sending acknowledgement separately, transmission cost will be reduced. And we are sending both acknowledgement and as well as data at once. So network will consume less space. And communication also will be fast. So in piggybacking, communication process is smooth. These are disadvantages of piggybacking. And the first one is, if the receiver has no data to send, then receiver will delay in sending acknowledgement. Thus, when never sender send data, receiver has no data to send. So receiver will not send acknowledgement. So whenever there is no reply from receiver, sender will think that data is not reached to receiver, and sender will again send the data. So piggybacking method is suitable only if both sender and receiver continuously exchange data. 